Hey there, welcome to this Infusionsoft tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a custom field to your Infusionsoft order form using Spiffy. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the entire process and then walk you through step by step. This is going to be a little bit more uh, more setup than, than usual uh, with the Spiffy order form because we are adding a custom field to that order form. Before Spiffy, it was believed that you couldn't add a custom field to an order form. It required a lot of code and it was very, very expensive and a lot of people just didn't do it. Spiffy makes it a lot easier because of the custom code snippets that come with your Spiffy subscription. So in order to get this custom field on your order form, you have to have a Spiffy account. And when you log into your Spiffy account, there's a section up here called Snippets. There's all these different types of extra functionality that you can add to your order form. Today we're gonna to focus on custom fields for your order form. And there's two parts of code. First thing you'll do is copy the custom text field. You can also add a text area, drop down menu, radio buttons, an order field or subscription field. And then you wanna add this second part of the code. So you wanna have one of those plus this code down here at the bottom. You need to have both parts of the code. So one, one piece of code from part one and one piece of code from part two. And then once you paste that in, you're going to want to create a custom field in Infusionsoft. And you're gonna to wanna to take that field name and remove the text that here that says your field name and replace that with the name of your custom field. You're gonna to want to leave contact zero underscore in front of your field name. Um, and that's what maps the value that the user inputs to the database and that custom field in your CRM. So if that was confusing or overwhelming, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through everything, how it works step by step. We're gonna create a new order form, we're gonna create a new custom field, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So if you, even if you've never coded in your entire life and this looks intimidating, I'm gonna make it very, very simple. First thing that we're going to do is we're actually gonna come back to Infusionsoft. We're gonna go over to e-commerce setup and we're going to set up a new order form. I'm assuming that you already have your product set up. If you don't have a product set up yet, under the products tab, click products and go through the setup, uh, go, go through the process to set up a product. Order forms, we're gonna create a new order form. We're gonna add a product, a little test product. Click add product, and we are going to view this page. This is just a normal, basic Infusionsoft order form. So we're gonna go over to Spiffy, and we're going to create a new Spiffy order form. We'll call this custom video test as well. We'll call it test two since I already have that in there. So the great thing about Spiffy is you have this library of different elements that you can drag out into your builder which makes it really easy to add images, add headlines, text, videos, bullet points, guarantee badges, you name it, there's an element in there for you. Awesome, we're gonna hit save and exit. I'm gonna take this code, hit copy, and we're gonna go back to the Infusionsoft order form we just created, and go to the custom HTML section and paste the code that we just copied into the order form. Now if I hit refresh on this page, it will load the new Spiffy order form that I just created, which is super cool. So now that we have Spiffy on the order form, we're going to create a custom field. So in Infusionsoft, under the admin column, under settings, I'm gonna open this up in a new tab we're gonna create a new custom field. So under the custom fields label, set up custom field for a contact, hit go. We're gonna hit add, and we're gonna call this membership password. And I'm gonna hit save this field. And you can see down here, membership password. We're gonna view the database name for that field. And as you can see, it's capital M, membership, capital P, password, all one word. So we're gonna remember that and save that for later. We're gonna go back to Spiffy and we're gonna get the snippet code for the custom field. So we're gonna click on custom fields. We're going to add just a normal custom text field. I'm gonna copy that, go back to the Infusionsoft order form, which is right here. 
and in the footer I'm going to paste that code right there. Now remember there's two parts to the code so I'm going to go back to Spiffy, scroll down and copy the second part of the code. Go back to the Infusionsoft order form, hit enter or return a couple times and paste that second part of code right below there in the footer. So both pieces of code are in the footer. I'm just going to hit save really quick. Now we just need to make a couple small tweaks to the custom uh, the custom field that we just inserted in there. First thing that you'll see here is the input name contact zero underscore your field name. So this is where we need to put in the name of the custom field that we created in Infusionsoft, which was just capital M member membership password with a capital P. Membership password. I'm gonna hit save. The placeholder is the actual text that will be seen on the order form. So if I hit refresh here on this page, we can now see that custom field and it says your custom field. So we want that to say create your password. So I change the text there, make sure there's quotes on both sides of it. I hit save. I come back over here and hit refresh and now that should say create your password. Perfect. Now I want to make sure that I have a headline up there and since we haven't entered anything it, by default it's blank. So if I come back to the code, this is going to be in the second part of the code, you can see this div class heading and there's a blank. The ampersand nbsp, that's just a, uh, that's just a spacer. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to type in create your password. I'm going to hit save, go back to the order form, hit refresh, and now it says create your password. Now maybe I don't want that to be the first thing that they do. I want them to start filling out the billing information. I have a couple options. I can make that custom field display at the top of the order form, uh, the top of the first column of the order form, the bottom of the first column, or the top of the second column. I'll show you how to do that really quick. So in the code, as you can see here, this little um, you know, piece that says prepend to column one. I can change that to say append. So I'm gonna change that to say append to column one, and that's gonna move that field to the bottom of column one. So now the create your password custom field is at the bottom of column one. Maybe you're creating a custom field and it makes more sense to have it at the top of column two. That's another place that you can put it. So I'm going to come back to the code. I'm going to change this back to prepend, and I'm going to change it to column two. I'm going to hit save and hit refresh, and now that custom field will show up at the top of column two. All of this is made that easy because of how we developed Spiffy. Um, Spiffy is doing a lot of extra legwork in the back end, and we're just calling on some functions um, in Spiffy to make this custom field do these awesome things. So um, Spiffy is definitely making our lives a lot easier right now. So I like it at the bottom of column one. So we're just going to change that to append to column one, hit save, and we're all set. I go back over here, and there it is. Now, maybe you want a custom drop down field, or maybe you want to have multiple custom fields on your order form. You can do that with Spiffy. So I want a drop down as well. I'm going to add this drop down menu, and uh, you know the same thing is going to have to happen here. Uh, if it, you know, I'm going to sh just show you how how it looks, um, but it does require a little bit of, of editing the code like we just did. So I just dropped in the drop down menu custom field. Uh, we'd have to change the name of the field, so create a new custom field change the name here and then change the options right but for right now I'm just gonna hit save just so we can see what it looks like I'm gonna come back over here hit refresh and now you have a drop down field that says select car type and all those different options which is pretty awesome uh, and then also we can do a text field text area sorry a text area I'm going to copy that, go back to the order form, and hit paste. 
Again, we'd have to change out the name of your custom field, placeholder, etc. Hit save and hit refresh. And now you have a custom text area. So you can add multiple custom fields, you can add a mixture of all these different types. And all this will be entered into the CRM and we can run a test really quick. Um, since I didn't link up those extra two fields, I'm going to take those ones off. So the text area and the drop down menu, I'm just going to remove those really quick since I didn't map them to a custom field. And we're going to run a test with this one because it's all linked up to our Infusionsoft app. I'm going to hit refresh. Create my password. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I guess. One through nine. <laughs> All right, four, one, one, one. I'm just going to throw a test credit card number in here. It's going to come back declined and as a failed payment, but all of the information will be passed through. And I'm going to hit complete my purchase. So it came back declined, but we're going to go back into Infusionsoft and let's see here this is the one that I just entered with all the twos in the phone number and I'm gonna go over to the custom fields and as you can see here membership password one through nine and it's all set up and it's working so that's how you set up a custom field for your order forms add a headline to the order form um, above it and move it around and if you have any questions as you're setting this up we're always here to help just reach out to support at gospiffy.com and if you don't yet have a spiffy account sign up today go to gospiffy.com click on the pricing page and create your account there's a lot of great awesome features spiffy is going to save you a ton of time it's going to allow you to create a professional looking and conversion optimized order form and ultimately help you pick up sales that you're currently missing out on from mobile devices. So go to spiffy, go to gospiffy.com today and pick up your account. And we look forward to having you as a spiffy customer. Have a great day.